How's it going guys? Dylan from If Cars Could Talk and I hope everyone's doing well today. Today we are out, oh, actually sorry, inside. The other version of this video is outside. But uh, regardless, we are at McLaren. As you can see, the McLaren's there. 765 LT, brand new McLaren, the race version of the race version. I know it's a bit confusing. Uh, it's just over there and we're gonna look at it very soon. Uh, it's a very special car because it's, well, their special race version, as I said. Uh, 600 LT was the last one. And basically, the LT stands for long tail, harkens back to the McLaren uh, GTR, the first long tail, uh, and really is the symbol uh, or the trademark of all of their um, really, really fast, stripped out cars. Uh, but before we go there, let's start the video in the specking room right here behind me and uh, see what we can create. It's almost like a little teaser. Wow, this is so cool. This so touch screen apparently. That's a giant touch screen. Okay, carbon everything. How do I go to color? Is that color? Paint. Green. This is very cool. Red. Right. What does this do? What does this button do? Doors? Oh, you can open and close the doors. It's basically like Forza. This is enough of the foreplay. Let's get straight to the bedroom. Here it is, the new 765 LT, and essentially it is this car, but beefed up. Obviously, a lot of different body kits around. We have this new front splitter here in fully carbon fiber. We have new 10-spoke wheels that look the same as the old ones, but are much lighter. We have the brakes of the Santa, not the discs. You can upgrade to those for even more, but that's more for the guys that want to race these things around. Uh, in addition, I'll put this insane door down. It's called a dihedral door. It's McLaren's fancy talk for doors that go up. And essentially, it has a bunch of crazy, well, side splitter stuff going on as well. It's actually just kind of crazy to look at. It almost reminds me of when you used to look at Lamborghinis. There were so many different angles going on. You could get you know, lost in just looking at it in your driveway. In addition, it has these here at the back which I'm just gonna say everything splitter afterwards. I'm gonna say back splitter, front splitter, because I don't maybe know what I'm talking about necessarily, but this diffuser is outrageous. It is so, so cool. And just like the 720, we have this separation, maybe a little less visibility now, but you can see them driving. It's the coolest thing when I'm behind them or stalking the people that have these cars, is you can actually see the transmission underneath very much like a 288 GTO. Now, sorry, I'm getting a bit lost. There's a lot of different stuff going on. But this tail is actually 20% bigger than the 720, which is already a pretty big tail, obviously after the long tail. Now, this car is 57 millimeters longer and six millimeters wider. Don't quote me, this is being memorized. I should have brought my fake piece of paper to cheat. Uh, but regardless, it's actually a long front, not a long tail. You guys have maybe heard this because it's longer in the front than it was in the 720 by a significant standard. You can actually just see it sticking out. 
But back to the tail, the cool thing about this is it actually has a cutout. Now other than because it looks really cool, it's for this new titanium exhaust stem. It's actually titanium all the way back to save weight. Everything about this car is saving weight and essentially McLaren calls it thermo management, which is a cool word for, well, they don't want flames to burn your tail off. So when these flame up, there's obviously a little gap here for it to go through. Now, in addition to that, it's also an air brake. We remember traditionally on the MP4, one of the coolest things is when you brake, it would go up and help create drag to slow the car down. So this little cutout is actually so you can see through the rear view mirror through the tail. Uh, pretty funny little added feature. Now, something that you don't really pick up in pictures and, and videos, so maybe you're not gonna pick it up because this isn't a video, but regardless is just how this has just been cut apart in this grill. There's absolutely nothing in this grill but holes, which obviously would make it lighter, but essentially gives the car more airflow. It cools it down more. Every vent on it is to draw air into the car. And well, it's an incredibly light car. Essentially people call this the baby Senna. It has the same torque as a Senna, but it actually has 765 horsepower, so a little bit under, but maybe I'm lying because it's not 765 horsepower, it's actually 754. I know we won't yell at McLaren, the number says that, but apparently it's the European horsepower, but who pays attention to that? Regardless, these are Senna seats as well, going back to Senna. A lot of the weight saving is in the interior of these cars, uh, mainly if you are a lunatic and you don't get the AC, don't get the radio, but just like 918 Wysack owners who got the lighter car and paid tons of money for it, uh, well, they ended up adding all that back, so it's kind of pointless. But regardless, the car actually weighs 2,709 pounds, which is insane for something this big, specifically because cars are so fat and big today. You know, you look at Bentleys, they're 6,000 pounds. It's outrageous. Obviously, it's a carbon fiber monocoque. You can see the carbon fiber composite through, which is really, really cool. Um, but it is just an insane looking seat, these. I absolutely love them. McLaren interiors are actually pretty simple. Not the biggest fan of this section. That little thing pops up and down when you're in race mode. There's a little LED screen there. And uh, well, the coolest thing is this little portal to the engine. It is absolutely awesome. Fun little features like that McLaren does. You can actually add uh, like a little glowing feature on the traditional 720 as well which looks outrageous. Now, long tail obviously was a traditional word used for, well, the racing McLaren, specifically, you know, McLaren F1s. Uh, but because it's got a longer tail, uh, it actually means it's got a shorter top speed. I know it's a bit of a weird thing to think about, um, but this actually has a much faster gear ratio to make the acceleration faster and the top speed slower so it's more of a track car from that point of view. But there's nothing more McLaren long tail than that because, well, the traditional McLaren GTR actually had a lower top speed than the McLaren F1. Only reason why I know this is because I played a lot of nerd car video games. But essentially, it's a lower top speed car at 205. Not terrible, not shabby by any means. But the car looks absolutely outrageous, especially in this spec. It is so gorgeous. Seems as though our neighbors above are trying to break in and steal it. All right, so I just uh, stole some promotional uh, information about this car. So just to be candid that I didn't come up with it. But one thing I forgot to tell you as the plane comes over is that this is a limited car. Now you probably think, well, that's normal. These cars are usually limited and they're hammering upstairs again. Bear with me. Um, but this is actually the first time in a while they've numbered their cars, um, and I think it's a big effort to bring up resale values. The problem is 600 LT wasn't numbered, it was a special car, more expensive. Uh, people wanna know that they're buying something special. That was the big problem with the Scuderia Ferrari is it wasn't actually numbered, and uh, well, people didn't know how to quantify it, they didn't know how to quantify its rarity, therefore that affected its value. Numbers are a big, big thing. Now, other things that I remembered, I mean, sorry, uh, <laughs> is that this actually has 25% more aero. That's a huge number. Um, and to actually talk about the height of it in terms of aerodynamics, it's five millimeters lower, but actually in the front, the rear has stayed the same. Uh, and just a few more features I wanna talk about. 
is these louvers over the wheels. Very hot right now, very cool. Shut up! Um, and uh, essentially this kind of harkens back to the GT3 RS Porsche. That's really where it was inspired from originally where we fought, first saw these things. Go to the back here, look at more inspiration. Scuderia. First time we saw really direct exhaust coming out of a car was in the Scuderia. So this race version of a race version is really influenced by other car companies' race versions. The DNA is not only from McLaren, but from the other race spec cars that you could offer from Porsche and Ferrari. And it's throughout. This just looks absolutely outrageous. I think the next thing to do, if I can, is start it. Can I start it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. By the door handle. Or yeah, I know it's in bigger sound. Door handle. Oh, here it is. Nope. Yeah, hold on. Oh, sorry, this is embarrassing. There we go. I know, I'm sorry. I don't know McLaren. This is pretty crazy. Now, I don't think I can fin this with my big ass, but uh, let's see. It's going to be extremely uncomfortable. And I just played pickleball the other day, so my butt hurts because my legs are connected to my butt. So I don't think my butt essentially hurts, but okay, I fit in this. This is very tight. It's actually a very intimidating environment to kind of be in. Actually, I, I do really fit in it and it really holds you as well. Oh my God. I dropped the keys down the seat thing. Oh God. I don't know if I can get it to drop down the seat thing. Okay, let's start it. Wow, that's absolutely mad. That is so loud. Little boy's dreams coming true right now. Just look at this view. Sing all the way through. These thin, thin seats. Look at this. Absolutely thin. Just a little piece of padding on it. Wow. Yeah, it has the same display we always see. Again, I think the layout's a little weird. The screen, it seems not pretty like a Ferrari's interior. Also very narrow in here. It's such a wide car. Look how narrow this is. It's obviously limited by the monocoque. Wow. What does this button do? Should not have pressed that. Okay, now you wanna watch me getting out of this thing? Let's see how embarrassing this is. Okay. Oh God, hold on. Oh God, hold on, sorry. I've gotta figure out how to do this. No, that didn't work either. Hold on. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Hopefully the carbon fiber can hold me. This is really not easy. Wow. That was an amazing experience getting to well, start a 765 LT. I definitely didn't earn it, but I will take it. Now, I think we have to find the keys. Oh, there they are. Uh, yeah, that's why you don't put holes in your seats. But look at that, how the carbon's just cut. And it is so thin. That is outrageous. Wow, what a pretty seat. Just pads stuck on here. That is insane. Most powerful LT ever, quad exit. Titanium exhaust that shoots flames from factory. Yes, yeah, got that. I love how it adds that. These, no, that, are, the that key, was me. these are the key selling points. Oh, okay, well, there is a key selling point. Um, oh, the tires. The tires are completely bespoke for the car. The, well, yes. yeah, the uh, Trofeo R. Just say yes. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else we got here if we forgot anything. Uh, the Zero to 60s 2.8, which is fast, but. 720S would do it in two and a half and it was allegedly 2.8, 2.9. So they're very conservative, so, which is nice yeah. to hear because that's a very Porsche thing to do, to yeah. be that conservative. Well, everything's conservative. I mean, the people have dynoed in stock 720s at high 700s on uh, higher octane fuels. You're kidding. No. <laughs> Anything else interesting? Um, I mean, all this is interesting. This is this car is super duper. It's just... I mean, the weight's crazy. Uh, 2709, oh, yeah. I think, right? If you convert it. They should not give you the kilograms. Americans don't like kilograms. It is that, like, McLaren's actually doing carbon fiber monocoques. I know, it kind of sounds preferred to say. But, like, Ferrari's been, like, this amazing F1 race teaming people. And the only carbon fiber you can get is the $8,000 option on the exterior that actually doesn't change the weight. Which is a bit of bull for me. Anyway, so you probably should get that, or no? No, no. No. They look so cool too. 
It's like a British Lamborghini that works. Anyway, probably gonna close out there. Probably forgot something. Where's the light here? Uh, don't forget the lightweight badge as an option. Oh, there's a lightweight badge? Yeah. Does this one have it? I was just lightweight badge right here. You're kidding. Yeah. Oh my god. I the the thing I was gonna say is I was gonna make fun of this is it? I don't know. Oh. I was gonna make fun of like and go, well at least like McLaren didn't do what Porsche did with the stickers, but I guess they are doing that. Also, one more thing, titanium bolts yep. on the card to make it extra light. Which I think is a cool fun touch. Just shows that like everything is lighter. But then there's a like a $10,000 push to drink system you can get. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> yeah, they're fun. I, I think McLaren's just got the right ethos. It's a fun company now. There's, it's silly. I like what they're doing. Considering that they've only been making road cars really for the last eight years, you know, Nolan Boyd. The Where they've F1, come is unbelievable. They've been making mass produced road cars really since 2012. And they have an actual product line, which yeah. is. Which they have is, an actual product line, and every brand manufacturer is just scrambling to try to keep up with their performance. Yeah, yeah, their performance, absolutely. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be back with the checkbook. Okay. Cool. Have cool. a good one. And it'll be linked to my uh, World Bank account. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. That's Thank brilliant. You. Um. Yeah. No. It's like you have like Ferrari, like the. This, this guy's homeless. I guess what I guess my only last question for you is where you can recommend the nearest place I can get a cat like. Cashier's check. Yeah. Because, uh, like, listen, it's going to be custom because literally our entire world economy is going to come through this, this, I need recommendations because I've already broken you like hell at equity. There's a, there. there's a Chase Bank like a mile that way. Perfect. Well, that works. Thanks, man. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, O'Gara does not in endorse any of this uh honestly feel bad for the guy he's homeless has done a lot of crack and has lost his mind um but he's just been harassing the salesman all day so i feel bad for you guys but he apparently has control over the world bank system the military and uh, everything else in his head anyway let's close the video off there uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, I uh, got some information. I probably was repetitive based on every other YouTuber, but I think at least maybe you laughed more than the other ones. Uh, and uh, what else? Uh, if you want to see me on more things, I'm on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Guys, if you liked the video, give it a damn like, and you know what? You better subscribe too. Thank you so much for watching. Peace!